So right now you have three options of driver types from PXG. Each of those three drivers comes with a very different price tag. And what we're gonna find out today is should you be paying 199 for the 0211 or should you be right up at the other end at 399 for the latest Gen 5 model? So before we find out the difference between those videos, at least from my opinion, what are you expecting to see in this video? And what would you want for that extra 200 pound from the bottom end to the top end? Is it extra distance? Is it more forgiveness? Is it better sound and feel? Or is it a mix of all three? And the most interesting thing is that we start off with the 0211 and that's found bang in the middle of the fairway, a 250 yard drive, right on my numbers. That's the one that's at 199, but the first and most noticeable difference between these three drivers is the ability to customize the club in terms of custom fit. It's very much limited on the 0211 to just that loft and lie angle. So already limitations in that 0211. And it changes up big time when you get to Gen 4 and uh, also into Gen 5 where you've got those loft and light angle options to change. But also it's that weighting system that uh, is very noticeable and also changeable. So to be able to dial in a very much uh, custom fit, these kind of weight ports can be switched around. And obviously there's different head options as well in terms of how that weighting sits in terms of draw, fade, bias. So you're starting to pay for the customizability of Gen 4 and then into Gen 5. The question is, what difference does it make to results and ultimately performance, I suppose? So then the question is, what is the difference between Gen 4 and Gen 5 and why, why are you paying that additional premium? This is the XF model, by the way, that we're testing today. And uh, one of the changes is that full AV crown. There's a considerable difference in the way it looks from the top line. And Gen 4 was, I think, a little bit marmite, love or hate it. Whereas I think this is a much more appeal to the masses type of look at a dress. But that's only a visual difference. But then underneath is where the difference is in terms of the technology. And they really split the weights to each side of the heel and toe to as far as they could go. And then there's that weight port back in the very back. Now then, those weights are all interchangeable as in with Gen 4, but by splitting this weight mass the way they did so far between that heel and toe, what they claim to have made a difference is to the overall stability of the face, ultimately forgiveness and additional ball speeds across the face. They've all landed basically in exactly the same spec. Right, camera goes back on. As you heard um, in the last comment of the last drive that I hit, that they all landed in exactly the same position. And they've all finished in exactly the same position. I can't believe that we've managed to hit three drives pretty much identical to each other. And it's interesting that uh, when we go and look at uh, spin numbers later on in, uh, in dry ball data, launch angle and spin will often determine where the ball depending on the ball flight, depending on the spin, how much it rolls out, depends on where it ultimately finishes. These three drivers produce very different numbers in terms of those launch and spin conditions. But when you get it out on the fairway, what we've seen so far is three drives that have virtually throw a blanket over them on this tee shot. And uh, what you're about to see now is three more tee shots and just have a look at where they all finish. I can't believe how much this has straightened me up, you know. And my opinion is quite simply that there are two notable differences for me in terms of Gen 4 and Gen 5. Aesthetically, it's a massive move forward in terms of I much prefer Gen 5, 
but then the sound and feel out of Gen 5 is also considerably different to both Gen 4 and also 0211. 0211 is a really harsh sound. If you go back to my original review, it's one of the things that I didn't like about it, and that's still the case. Gen 4, again, not a massive change between those two. In my opinion, still a little bit harsh on the ear, whereas the sound and feel out of this thing is so, so good. But what happens in terms of performance benefit? Now, in terms of those difference, the quality of build is considerably different between 0211 and Gen 5, and clearly an obvious statement is that the latest tech is gonna be found in their latest model. But in terms of quality of build, you can definitely see that 0211 is inferior to that of uh, Gen 4 and Gen 5, but we still don't know whether that impacts on performance or not. So of course, I won't just leave it at my opinion, I need dry ball data to see if there is any difference explained in that data as to why this model Gen 5 is better than the opposite end of 0211. I hit minimal shots because straight away they told a tale and the tale really, I think was about consistency. Out here on the fairway, what we've seen so far is when I've hit three balls fairly decently out the middle of the club face with a similar sort of swing, they've achieved very similar results. The ball flight's been slightly different and the spin number, as you can see from the data, is slightly different. But ultimately, they've got to their end point where they've rolled out to and the dry ball data says the same as well. Pretty much the same. We got one really decent ball out of the Gen 5, but arguably out of that short sample of shots, it was just purely I really nailed one in that particular instance. But you will also see that those three shots with Gen 5 are also considerably consistent in terms of the higher end of the carry spectrum with what we've seen from what I achieved with 0211 and Gen 4. And I'd say that I've also seen that out here on the fairways. There's just a little bit more consistency which suggests there's a bit more forgiveness in and around or all about the club face on the uh, Gen 5 than there is certainly of the 0211. But that difference isn't massive. And is it 200 pounds worth of difference? I'm gonna finish off by hitting that Gen 5. And to be honest with you, I've hit each of the drivers really, really well today, which can often be a volatile part of my game. So thanks to Lewis, we seem to be getting somewhere with these swing changes. But the reason I've finished with Gen 5 is because ultimately, if budget wasn't an issue, then I would choose to play Gen 5. The reason I choose to play it is because of the ability to customize it. I think it looks better than Gen 4 because that's customizable, but this thing looks better. It also sounds better than Gen 4. So like I said, money pushed to one side for a minute. Without doubt for me, this is the best driver out of the three that we're looking at today. But I said, was it worth paying an extra 200 pound for 0 to 11 to jump into Gen 5? And I think for most people, the answer to that question will probably be no, because the Gen, the 0 to 11 performed incredibly well. And if you're lucky enough to go into a, uh, a fit session and the 0 to 11 in its limitations in terms of customizability, if they fit you, if, if those things work, so like I said, if that nine degree head works, if the kind of options to uh, increase, decrease loft, if you get a, a head that suits your swing, then I think you're just as well as going into that 0 to 11 and saving yourself a huge amount of money. Because the thing is right now, that 0 to 11 range from PXG is really, and I'm talking about irons, I'm talking about blades we've just looked at, and the driver is an incredibly good value range of golf clubs. So for anybody complaining about how expensive golf is right now, which it is, then you've got to be looking at 0 to 11. But at that other end of the spectrum, you can see why you pay more money for the Gen 5. And if you want that ultimate custom fit experience, if you want the best of the best, then the Gen 5 is certainly that. Right, final statement is this, Gen 5 in at 399, that's mixing up with all the big boys. How does it compare? Well, it's very favorable. It's again about personal preferences because we all know that in terms of distance wise, you ain't getting much difference between all of those faces at that top end. So right, we'll leave it at that. I'm done, give me your feedback down below. Lots of you have brought 0 to 11 drivers in this last year or so. I know you have from listening to your, uh, your comments and feedback. I don't know how many of you bought Gen 4 and Gen 5. So let me know if you have and what you're thinking of them. Right, thanks for watching, I'm done and I'll see you all very soon.